Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another reaction video. Today I'm going to be watching, reviewing, and reacting to season 2, episode 5 of The Boys. <clears throat> Alright, so just quickly before I get started, I'm having a lot of pain again, guys, unfortunately, and my jaw, old reliable jaw here, has been popping out of joint again repeatedly the last couple of days, including just this morning, so... Um, unfortunately, again, this is going to mean I'm going to have to be careful with it and I won't be talking as much as I like to talk, um, when I can normally. <clears throat> so I'm going to do my best here. I, I normally under these circumstances, I wouldn't want to film, but we've gotten pretty behind here because I've been having a lot of pain flares the last couple of weeks and we had all the election stuff and that was just very distracting. So we're going to just try to plow ahead and go for it. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited to see where we continue going forward with this, but I'm not going to waste any more time with build up and stuff. Like I said, the jaw is it, ick. So let's get into episode five of the boys. Here. Fired. Oh, yeah. Girls, get it on. Done. Girls, get it done. You sure do, quick oh. yeah maybe you should have like thought it through a little more <clears throat> so what they're all starving but one of them's got a fucking cell phone bro you know i really wish you had cleared this with me before you went over there jesus christ i don't have to clear shit with you ashley yeah, for your own benefit. Your own benefit. Well, they posted last night. You spoke it 17 minutes later, but that's forever. And there's been some blowback. Blowback. You know, people are probably a little pissed, Homelander. Fine, fine, fine. So, at a point, a point and a half, two. Thanks. Nine and a half. Nine. Nine and a half. I mean, that was pretty bad, man. It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Hi, Binks. What, they're pro protesting? Me? Oh my god, they're, they're, pro they're protesting me. They've been at the tower all afternoon. Why didn't you fucking say something? God damn it. I'm going to just some bad so. <laughs> French toast. Oh my god. <laughs> so you are both members of the It's got the full on Scientology fakeness <laughs> interview. Sort of thing. Wait. Are they arguing about Hamilton? No! Alright, that's funny. Can we help you? Oh? Anna Prosta Diavoichka. Pokaji a hoin you. Pink stop. Sir, I don't think you're making a good decision right now. Mm -hmm. 
being the person you were always meant to be. Oh my god. To... Oh, here we go. <clears throat> but seriously. Long time ago. <clears throat> you were in that church? And then they just started letting all kinds of people in. You know? I don't know. So why don't you tell me? Well, I think you do know. Oh. Some people are quality and others are garbage. Oh, by the way, I heard they were tired of you. So unfair. <sighs> oh, my God, this racist bitch. Say the word, please. Yes, you would know that freedom comes at a price. You don't speak for us. Oh. It's not gonna like that. Oh, God. That just happened. There's no way that's real. There's no way that fucking just happened. That yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, there's no way. There's no way. And look at his face. Are we gonna admit we need help? When you see it on your uncle's Facebook page, then you know it's working. Care for attached to him? Would you speak? You can't. Roll the dice, cut. I reckon. Oh, is Black Noir is just like his personal superhero? Here's my first and final offer. That information never sees the light of day. And I'll call off Black Noir. Alright. You got yourself a deal. Wanna shake on it? Put Noir on. Watch. What? I'm making a deal with Mr. Edgar. Uh, Nick. Five points. <laughs> oh, he's so happy. Checking boxes like Patreon and 
You're just falling right into her trap, man. Narcissists are pretty easy to play. Well, what are you ever going to do to repay me? Don't be a pussy. Laser my fucking tits. He's like, oh my god. My dream woman! See? I told you I don't break easy. He is way too happy right now. I don't know. You're yeah, doing to uh, episode five there. <laughs> oh my god, kitties, please. Cats are going insane. Absolutely insane right now. But all right, so I'm going to keep this short. Like I said, guys, my jaw situation, but... That was an absolutely crazy episode. So I saw, you know, last episode, obviously Homelander was getting extremely upset. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. With Stormfront. Um, feeling that she was overstepping her bounds in terms of, of how she was discussing what was going on in the Seven and also in trying to take somewhat of a leadership role, which he didn't approve of at all. <coughs> um... Yeah, so I anticipated conflict between them. I was not anticipating this being the direction that this, their storyline headed. Um, and yet here we are. So it's pretty funny looking back at the last couple episodes to see how she played him right into her hand here. She's quite good at manipulating people to get what she wants, clearly. Um, <clears throat> and now he feels like... I guess probably really appreciative and indebted to her because she was able to show him how to spin that horrible horrible PR blunder that he was just making worse with his public speech where they tried to make us think he was killing a bunch of people but he was just making everything worse and then she was able to step in really quickly with just you know some memes and basically denying that what was on tape was actually factual and 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 trying to to spin the story with catchphrases and and very quickly she's able to use the internet to her advantage to to bring people back onto his side and get his numbers up and because he's so obsessed with the way people think about him and his image and and whether he's beloved by the population like he is so like appreciative of that and then you know they're actually fucking fooling around with each other and she's like oh laser my tits she actually wants him to hurt her and she's like apparently pretty ridiculously insanely strong because his laser beams are burning her but she's not just being cut in half and destroyed is she like we saw in his image fantasy and what we saw him actually do to people with those laser beam eyes Eh, comparatively, that didn't do that much to her, and it seemed like she was healing pretty quick from the damage that it did do, too. So, she is pretty strong. So, he finds that out and finds that, you know, she's kind of like a sick freak in the same way that he is. He's like, this is my dream woman, my perfect woman. If they weren't both such horrible monsters, then they would be a great couple. <laughs> So we have that, and then in addition to that, another big thing this episode, all the stuff with, you know, Butcher being brought back into the group in the aftermath of Becca basically turning him away. And it was nice to see him actually, you know, showing some caring for for them, for people other than, than, than Becca and, and himself. You know, he's willing to put himself on the line there to try and protect Huey and M.M. and his aunt and, and his dog. Um... And did it in a very smart way. I was 
it was interesting to see he's now in like this negotiation with Mr. Edgar, and I can't imagine that Homelander would be particularly pleased if he found out what just happened there. Um, but this also seems to have put him in a position where he's kind of maybe got them off of their back, so they're not necessarily going to be looking for them really at this point in time because of that information, which probably is fake, but you know. And then another thing, Black Noir continues to interest me in that every time we see him and he gets into some sort of conflict, you know, he seems to be kind of, I don't want to say indestructible in like a Homelander kind of fashion, you know, bullets don't just bounce off of him or anything, they pierce him, but it doesn't seem to like, he just keeps going. The same thing with explosions. So I don't know if it's just kind of like what we were just seeing with Stormfront where he's got like a, a healing factor or what it is. I'm just really curious about how strong he actually is, what exactly he is. But one thing we did see is he's basically got a camera on him so that Mr. Edgar can see and hear everything that he, he sees and hears. So he's, I guess, Mr. Edgar's personal guy, right? That's what that implies, that he's basically Mr. Edgar like Mr. Edgar's weapon. That's what he is. So that's really fascinating. But all right, I think I'm going to wrap this up here, guys, because like I said, my jaw situation and I don't want to make it worse and I want to keep going. I'm hoping to watch the next episode right now because I'm a little bit behind. So thank you guys very much for joining me and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.